G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, as you know, I buy a lot of second-hand tools and make my own tooling and I keep my costs down and basically equip my workshop as cheap as possible. And uh, I've had some good buys over the years. And uh, anyway, the other day I went to uh, a place advertising some gear on Gumtree, which is like Craigslist, and I got a couple of good, good buys. I got this with a whole bunch of, uh, of bits and it's a, uh, it's a 700 watt rotary impact drill Arlick Enforcer. So I got that and uh, here's all the bits that came with it. There's a whole bucket load of bits there and uh, I thought that was pretty good going, considering I paid 25 bucks for the drill and the bits. And the guy also had this in the same deal, which is a Atlas Copco two-speed gearbox. Um, variable speed, electronic speed with a forward and reverse drill with a uh, with a near new roam chuck on it, keyless. So I got the two of those machines for 25 bucks. So it works out that my impact drill, rotary impact drill cost me $12.50 and this one cost me $12.50 as well. That's pretty good buying. I mean, considering what these things will be to buy, buy new. This one looks a bit scruffy, but it really hasn't done much work. When you look at the fan, it's as clean as a whistle, and the brushes are as good as brand new. The commutator has got virtually no wear. I think it's just been floating around in some tradies toolbox, not being used, and it's just scuffed up the labels and the outside a bit, but it works fine. It works fantastic. Now, with this, this we've got a Rome chuck, which is keyless. You can put C-spanners on these, and I haven't got any, because like a lot of the stuff you get, you don't always get everything, you know. And in this case, there's no C-spanners came with this, so I'll make up some C-spanners. Even though these are quite good, these Rome's keyless, and this one's got a lock on it, you can lock it so when you're actually using it at, uh, in impact mode, it stops the Rome chuck unscrewing. Uh, but I'll see spanners will be good so you can always go that bit tighter with them if they do start to slip on you. So I'll, I'll make up some C spanners. But today's project is the Arlac Enforcer. And on these, of course you don't need a, any sort of chuck key with these because they have a, a bayonet type mount that takes these bits. But what they do have is on the top they have a, a reservoir that takes grease. And of course you don't know how much work these things have done. I'd say it's done virtually no work at all. But every 50 hours you have to check the grease, so I'm going to have to take the, the cap off, unscrew it and see what's in there. But of course to do that I need a pin wrench, a two, a two pin pin wrench. And of course I haven't got one, and the ones I have got don't fit it because they're all different sizes, they never make them standard. So we'll make one up today, just a simple pin wrench. Not a very big job, and I'll just show you basically what's involved in that little job. Okay, uh, before we do, we'll take her outside and we'll try her out on some stuff and then we'll get stuck into making up the pin wrench.
Right, we're with Julia Holmes. And we've got a bit of rod, so now what we have to do now is just uh, cut the rod and weld the, the pins in. So I make up some little pins and make them a, a bit longer than they need to be so we can always grind them back. And uh, once we cut it, we just weld them on the back. Job's done. It's a simple wrench. Whenever I cut small down with stuff like this, I wouldn't use a metal cutting bandsaw, I mean it's, it's too small for that, so I just use the air dye grinder with a cutting disc in it. And as I said, we're just going to cut these off near enough, it's good enough for now. And uh, here's the airline for the, for the die grinder. Just one of these cheap 20 back jobs with a cutting disc in it. These are good value. Well done. Now I've got to do is pick them up off the floor. Now we just knock our pins in. What a snug fit. That's plenty long enough. Just get it to over with the surface. Not the other one. All right, and now we'll arc it. That's that. Right, well I've ground the pins down, so now I'll just Run a file around to take the edge off so we get a bit of a taper so it will lead in better. The pins don't have to be very long at all, really. When you grind on a stone, stuff like this, it always spreads the end a bit because of the, the metal getting hot. So we'll just put a little chamfer on the edge with a file. Then we'll wire buff it to finish it and that should be a good job. Right, well we're going to do it now, check the, the grease. Tools like this just handy little universal things, they have to go crazy. Make them look all that beautiful as long as they work, that's the main thing. Oh, look at that. So it's got a stack of grease in there, so Obviously this thing's done virtually no work whatsoever, so that's that's good. Well, I mean, you want to check this stuff. If you ever get tools, power tools second hand, you know what's going on with them, how well they've been serviced or how long they've been used. So in this case we've got a pretty low hours machine. Let's have a look at it. I think it's done virtually no work at all, this thing. I'm pretty pleased with that. Make sure everything's squeaky clean. Let's clean the thread. Right, so we've checked that, so now we're happy. We know that won't need looking at. You check these on these rotary hammer drills, you check and top up the grease every 50 hours. 
according to what the, the manuals say on these things. So I'm happy now. I can use this thing knowing I'm not going to cause any damage. It's always a worry when you don't know what condition things are in. So I was for half an hour's work making this up, quarter of an hour. It's, um, it's something that uh, should have been in, it was in the toolbox, toolkit originally, but of course it never came with this because when you get these things, you never get everything. They always lose bits out of them. So that's good. So my little cheap little wrench, my free wrench actually, <laughs> worked good and I'm quite happy with that. So there you go, simple job, easy job. Okay, see you next time.